Hey, guys welcome back to the channel Canada Immigration. Today, in this video we are going to talk about latest Canada immigration news. We will talk about what Canada's new NOC is all about and how it affects your shot at a PR. If you are interested in this topic please watch till the end of this video for the latest immigration updates and news. Please like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and don't forget to hit that notification bell icon. Let's get into the video. The National Occupation Classification is a system that Canada uses to determine the level of skill and education necessary for an occupation or career in Canada. For immigration, NOC codes determine which occupations are skilled, semi-skilled, and unskilled immigration to Canada under one of the federal economic programs generally requires candidates to have work experience in a skilled job. Immigration, Refugees, and Citizenship Canada currently use NOC 2016 to determine the eligibility of occupations under its temporary and permanent residency programs NOC 2021 will come into effect in November 2022. The current NOC has four skill levels. NOCA, jobs that tend to require university degrees. NOCB, jobs in the skilled trades that require a college diploma. NOCC, jobs that require intermediate skills or job-specific training. NOCD, labor jobs that require on-the-job training. The biggest change in the NOC 2021 is that the current four-category skill level structure has been replaced by a six-category system. The new system outlines the level of training, education, experience, and responsibilities required to enter each occupation. The new TEER system will look like this. TEER 0, Management Occupations. TEER 1, completion of a university degree, or several years of experience in a specific occupation from TEER Category 2. TEER 2, completion of a post-secondary education program of two to three years at Community College, Institute of Technology, or CEGEP. Or completion of an apprenticeship training program of two to five years, or occupations with supervisory or significant safety, police officers and firefighters responsibilities, or several years of experience in a specific occupation from TER Category 3, when applicable. TER 3, completion of a post-secondary education program of fewer than two years at Community College, Institute of Technology, or CEGEP, or apprenticeship training of fewer than two years or more than six months of on-the-job training, training courses, or specific work experience with some secondary school education, or several years of experience in a specific occupation from TER Category 4, when applicable. TER 4, completion of secondary school, or several weeks of on-the-job training with some secondary school education, or several years of experience in a specific occupation from TER Category 5, when applicable. TER 5, short work demonstration and no formal educational requirements. According to reports, 16 occupations will be eligible for express entry, while 3 will become ineligible. The occupations that will be added to the NOC 2022. Payroll administrators. Dental assistants and dental laboratory assistants. Nurse aides, orderlies, and patient service associates. Pharmacy Technical Assistants and Pharmacy Assistants Elementary and Secondary School Teacher Assistants Sheriffs and Bailiffs Correctional Service Officers By Law Enforcement and Other Regulatory Officers Aestheticians, Electrologists, and Related Occupations Residential and Commercial Installers and Services Pest Controllers and Fumigators other repairers and services. Transport truck drivers. Bus drivers, subway operators, and other transit operators. Heavy equipment operators. Aircraft assemblers and aircraft assembly inspectors. The three occupations that failed to make it to the list are. Other performers. Program leaders and instructors in recreation, sport, and fitness tailors, dressmakers, furriers, and milliners. 
These will remain eligible for programs with broader occupational eligibility criteria, such as some streams of the Provincial Nominee Program. Hopefully, the details and information is presented in this video are helpful. So what is your opinion about today's information, definitely tell us by commenting. And on which topic we should make the next video, you must tell by commenting. We will try to reach you with the latest information related to Canadian immigration. If you have not subscribed, please like this video and subscribe to the channel don't forget to click on that notifications bell icon. See you sooner in the next new immigration video. Thank you.